Mr. Montgomery again. Today we're on page 65, and that is lesson 2-3. Okay, so yesterday we did something called doubles facts, right? We are learning all about doubles facts. Now what I'm about to write is just review. You do not need to write it. So if you remember what a doubles fact is, it's when we have a number, let's say 2, and we add it with the same number. So it would be 2 plus 2. You have the same number twice that you're adding, and this is called a doubles fact. And when we have a doubles fact, we always end in an even number. It doesn't even matter what number you're using. You could use um, 3 plus 3. And that will give you 6. 6 is an even number too. So whenever we have a doubles fact, we always get an even number. What we're doing today is called a near doubles fact. Now, it's going to look very similar to these two number sentences, but it's going to be just a little different, just a little bit. So instead of 2 plus 2, it'll be 2 plus 1. One of the numbers will just be different by 1. So we could say 2 plus 1 is a near doubles fact, and so is 2 plus 3. These are both near doubles facts, because 1 is 1 less than 2, and 3 is 1 more than 2. It's very close to being a doubles fact, but it's not quite there. Okay, so we're going to be learning all about these today, and um, you'll, you'll find out why we're even learning about it, and if near doubles facts are just kind of tough. I'm going to show you guys another way you can uh, still add these and still do what you got to do. All right, so let's go ahead and let me erase these real quick. Okay, so let's see what our little friend here in the picture is saying. It says, look at these addition problems. We have some addition problems right here. How are they alike? How are they different? Sort them into two groups. That is pretty important. We got to sort them into two groups and write them in the buckets. So we have a green bucket and a purple bucket. Now here's what our two groups are going to be. Our green bucket is going to be doubles. This is where we're going to write every doubles fact we see from our list up here. So if you can write small enough, you can write the word doubles, nice and small, in the green bucket. Leave plenty of space for your number sentences. And then the per uh, purple bucket will be near doubles. Now, the first two will do together, okay? And then I'll let you sort the rest out on your own. Because I feel like this is a pretty easy exercise just to get us familiar with how these number sentences look. Okay, so let's start at this end with 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4. Is that a doubles fact or a near doubles? Well, let's see what numbers we're adding. We know that a doubles fact has to be the same number twice. And you'll see right there, you have the number 4. And we're adding it to the same number. Since they are the same number, it is a doubles fact. So right here in the green bucket, we will write 4 plus 4. And we don't have to answer it. We're just writing down the addition sentence, okay? And now let's look at the one next to it. It says 2 plus 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this first number here. It's a 2. So if it's a doubles fact, that means the second number would have to be the same, right? But our second number is a 3. It's different just by 1. So it's not quite a doubles fact. This is a near doubles fact. It's different just by a little bit. So in the purple bucket, we can write 2 plus 3. All right. Uh, try this next one on your own. 3 plus 4. Should we write that in the doubles facts bucket or the near doubles bucket? Go ahead and write it in the correct bucket really quick on your own.
All right, did you write it down? All right, let's see where it belongs. So we have 3 plus 4. We look at this first number. We have 3. And we see if the second number is the same. The second number is a 4. It's very close to being 3, but it's not quite it. So we're going to write this in the near doubles facts. So here we need to write 3 plus 4. All right, let's go to the next one. 4 plus 5. Go ahead and write it in the correct bucket. Is this a doubles fact or a near doubles fact? All right, did you go ahead and write it down? Let's check it out. So the first number is 4, and the second number is 5. Are these two numbers the same? No, they're not. They're close, but they're not quite the same. So if we have 4 and 5. This is a near doubles fact. So in the purple bucket, you need to write 4 plus 5. Let's go to the next one. We have 2 plus 2. Go ahead and write it in the correct bucket. Should it go in the green doubles facts or the purple near doubles facts? All right, did you go ahead and give it a try? All right, let's check it out. So our first number is 2, and our second number is, it's another 2. Since these two numbers are the same, it is a doubles fact. So go ahead and write down 2 plus 2. It belongs in the green bucket. And we have one more to go. 3 plus 3. Go ahead and write it down in the correct bucket really quick. All right, did you give it a try? Let's check it out. Let's look at the first number. We have a 3, and our second number is... It's another 3. They're the same number, so they belong in the doubles facts. So 3 plus 3. That is a, definitely a doubles fact, because they both had... It's the th number 3 twice, right? We got the same number being added. Okay, so... I've, I'm hoping that this just got you familiar with uh, what they look like. So a doubles fact, of course, we know is the same number being added. And a near doubles is close to being a doubles, but it's just different by one. It's just off by one. That's all. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn to page 66. And we're going to try some near doubles facts on our own and see how these can help us. and Or how doubles facts can help us solve near doubles. It's, oh man, they just... They get along. They're like brother and sister. And you guys are going to find out how in just a minute. All right, here's page 66. And we have the little boy from the page before up here telling us about some doubles facts and near doubles facts. And we're going to start with this little green box over here that says convince me. And you're going to see why we're doing this in just a second. So it says, how does knowing 3 plus 3 help you find 3 plus 4. And I'm going to show you that right now. So you understand why we're actually learning near doubles and how doubles facts can help us with uh, you know other math problems in the future. Uh, this is kind of for those friends in our room that uh, can do mental math and they're pretty quick at it. This might help them become a little quicker. If this is tough for you and you just want to use a number line, that's fine. There's no rule saying you're never allowed to use a number line. I will always let you use one, and I'm sure if you're not in my room, your teacher will, will let you use one too. But let me show you this real quick. Let's raise this down. 3 plus 3. Okay, 
So if you know your addition facts, 3 plus 3 is 6. And how this can help you find 3 plus 4 is like this. They're saying, if you know 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 4 is very similar. It's just one more. Because 4 is just one more, right? So what's one more than 6? 7. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So they're just kind of saying, if you really know your doubles facts, and you have them all memorized, when you see near doubles addition sentences, you'll be able to think of them super fast. Uh, but if this is too tricky for you, don't worry about it. You can always use a number line, or um, what I was doing with friends the other day was I had them make little dots above the number. So if you have 3 plus 4, make 3 dots. And then for 4, make 4 dots. And guess what? You just count all the dots to get the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Either way, you'll get this as your answer. So don't worry. Don't stress out about it, guys, okay? I'm even going to draw a number line over here in just a second. So let's go through number 1 together. We're just going to walk through it. So what they want us to do is they're going to give us a near doubles fact. And what they want us to do first is to write down a doubles fact that can help us. So 2 plus 3, well, a doubles fact that's close to that is 2 plus 2. And 2 plus 2 is 4. So if you look at your doubles fact, 2 plus 2 is 4. Uh, look at 2 plus 3 after that. And 3 is just one more than 2. So if 2 plus 2 is 4, that means 2 plus 3 is just 1 more. So it's 5. And then they just want you to rewrite the addition sentence. That's, that's all we're doing. What I'm going to do for number 2, guys, is I'm going to give you the uh, doubles fact. And then you're going to try to, you're going to solve it and then write the answer for the near doubles. Now this one's a little trickier. Because this one is going to be two more instead of just one more, okay? So I'm going to give you the same doubles fact, 2 plus 2, all right? So remember, since we're saying 2 plus 4 and comparing that to 2 plus 2, it will be two bigger when you write your near doubles fact down here. Okay, so go ahead and solve the top one and then solve the bottom one using that doubles fact to help you. All right, did you give it a try? I sure hope you did. If you're still working, pause the video and take your time with it, okay? But in the meantime, if you're still watching, I'm guessing then you're all set and we're going to keep on rolling. So let me get a different color here. Okay, so what we're going to do is figure out 2 plus 2. And like I said, you're always allowed to use a number line. Always. So let's go ahead and check it out. 2 plus 2, the first number, we start at 2, right? That's our starting number. And the second number tells us how many jumps. 1, 2. And we landed on 4. So 2 plus 2 is 4. And now all we're thinking for uh, 2 plus 4 is what is 2 more than 4? Well, if you need to make little shapes to help you count, that's fine. And we can count on 4, 5, 6. So 6 is 2 more than 4. Now, if you wanted to use the number line instead, that is fine. We can always solve this near doubles fact right here using the number line. We're going to do it the same way we do with 2 plus 2. The first number tells you where to start. So we start at 2. And then we are going to make four jumps. Remember, the second number tells us how many jumps. So one, two, three, and four. I stop. I look at what I landed on, and I landed on six. And check it out. It's the same answer. No matter how you guys want to do this, you will get the same answer. All right, use what's comfortable for you. 
So let's go ahead to page 67 and we'll do one more practice problem together. All right, here's page 67. Now I'm going to start you off with a doubles fact for number three, but then you're going to do the rest on your own, okay? So we have three because plus three. That's going to be our doubles fact that can help us out. You could use three plus three or you could use four plus four as long as it's one of the two numbers they're showing. All right, so go ahead, use three plus three, solve it, and then solve the near doubles fact right after that. All right, did you guys give it a try? If you're still working, don't rush. Pause the video though if you're still working. I want you to try this on your own, okay? And then when you're all done, hit play and check your answer along with mine. So first thing we have to do is figure out three plus three, if you don't know it already, of course. Some friends know three plus three very easy or very quick, and they just spit it out at you know any moment that you ask them that. Some of us can't do that, and that's okay. For those friends, I am really suggesting that you use the number line. First, we have a three. That's our starting point. And our second number tells us how many jumps. So we take three jumps. One, two, three. We stop, and we land on six. So three plus three is six. And now... For our near doubles fact, right here, we need to figure out 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 4 is just 1 more. So what's 1 more than 6? It's 7. And uh, just in case this mental math technique that we're learning is, uh, isn't, maybe it's not easy for you, and that's okay. Just every time, go back and use the number line. That's fine to do. So we would start at 3 because that's our first number. And our second number tells us how many jumps. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we land on 7. Either way, you will get the correct answer. So use what works best for you. Okay, so this is going to be the end of the video. I'm now going to give you guys your independent work. I want you to do number 4 all the way down to number 11. Now 10 and 11 are special challenge problems. I would like for you to try them. Don't let them frustrate you though, okay? Don't let them frustrate you. If it's too tough, that's okay. I definitely want you to do numbers one or I'm sorry, numbers four through nine though. Definitely do four through nine and then if you uh, would like a nice little challenge, try 10 and 11 after that. Okay, so I'm hoping that uh, near doubles sounds pretty fun and maybe you're getting it really quick. I really hope so. If it's a little tough, don't forget to use your number line. So don't get frustrated. Use the number line. Worst case scenario, don't worry about it. All right, so I'll see you guys later um, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next video. Have a great day.